on the 20th of March for their extradition case. The two are wanted in connection with the murder of Kiernan, a.k.a. Forbes, and Dibelo Dibs Motswane. Eswatini prosecutors stated last week that they were still awaiting extradition documents from South Africa. They stated this again yesterday. It said that the documents to bring the brothers back to South Africa could take uh, from three to six months. To unpack this further for us, I'm joined by criminal law expert uh, William Booth. Mr. Booth, thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. Uh, three to six months, is, is that really the process? Is that how long the process takes? Well, it can in some instances take that long, but obviously the court dealing with the um, further detention of the two might say they are not prepared to postpone the matter any further. And obviously they are, would be entitled to apply for bail. So the process is a political process and then obviously a legal process as well. There's got to be an exchange of documents between the respective governments and setting out the case and setting out um, how they are linked to the, to the charges. Uh, because obviously if there is no link, then they cannot be detained any further. So it's important to do this very quickly. I mean, we had the issue with the Gupta brothers um, in Dubai, and that, with, my, with the greatest of respect, came a little, became a bit of a mess. So, you know, the authorities must act speedily in respect of these matters. And as I say, the court that uh, is dealing with the case could say, well, look, it's unreasonable to expect this delay, and they might release either the two uh, on bail or, in fact, might remove the matter from the court role. So it's very important to do this quickly. I, I sometimes fail to understand why it takes so long because